Have you ever seen any episodes of Scandal? But like, yes, do you I've have watched fa- every episode. You have, except when I died. Oh, After I died, it was over. Yeah. Yeah, but go oh yeah. Do you- well, in more ways than one. <laughs> It was over after you died, even though the the ratings mm-hmm. were right. Yeah, the numbers were right for the for ratings Harrison. were Harrison. But the right. life, but the, they were Harrison right. Harrison right, right. I saw <laughs> Britney with a Pepsi can, and I was with my friends, and I said, castmates, and I said, I'm gonna work for her one day. And no, like, I don't even know where to start with this, but like, right. I'm trying so. to even remember like where when it started to fall apart. <sighs> Okay, this is crazy. You guys. You guys, we have. Our family's here. Like, this Our is original the family one, is the here. Only gladiator chapters. in a suit. Yes. This is a very, very special episode. It's a standalone, it's a bottle yes, episode. Yes, is what this it is. is the first it's time a bottle we're, episode. we're in a studio with this podcast yes. because of this man. And we were like, We've been wanting to get Columbus yes. short on unpacking the toolbox for a while. Yeah. I would say like two years. Yeah, but we were saving it too because we, we knew were it was saving be it. We wanted it to do yeah. it in person, and we were so psyched that you're open to it and into it. And we're very happy to see you. Happy to see you, Columbus so. short, y'all. And the gladiators, yes. like this is oh. your. I mean, this is our Harrison. Let's right. go. They're There's gonna flip their wigs. Let's Remember when in. I said y'all would flip your wigs? <laughs> this is why. <laughs> flip them. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys. Right this now. is the man, <laughs> is fucking... the myth, the legend who literally said, do you want to be a gladiator in a suit? To you. To me. Yes. And your face. And your face. Like this is <laughs> oh. crazy. Like I could get um, emotional I, about I, I it. Know. Columbus Short, first of all, thank you for doing this. Oh my God. Let it be known, gladiators, that Columbus, we're going to get into questions and have a good time, but also you brought the most funnest friends. You brought Neo. Neo yes. came and sang happy birthday to Kerry Washington. Sure because of Columbus yes. Short. Neo came saying happy birthday and I gave him a hug and I was like, that's the most cologne I've ever smelled on a human being in my entire <laughs> life. And it smelled so good. And he was so talented. And I all day I would like catch a whiff of it on my sweater and I'd be like, that's oh, Neo. That's Neo's cologne. <laughs> yeah. Wait, can you first take us back? Like, where were you when you booked the part? Because didn't you were an offer or you had to audition? Tell us how you got this part and where you were in your life career. So Shonda had the couple of couple of years before had said to me offered a private practice and I was like I do not want to do television I want to be a movie, <laughs> movie star, star. I had, I, that was my thing yeah. I was like yeah, I want yeah, to be a yeah. movie star yeah. like, I'm, I'm, I'm on a movie star track you know, and at the, the time those were different tracks boom, boom, boom. and I said yeah. but you know what there's a guy named Tay Diggs that could be appropriate. No way. Yeah, you suggested. I love Tay Diggs. That's because that's my guy. Hell yeah. So I'm like, and he's down. You know what I mean? He's down for the job. Yeah. I wasn't. So then, the, I'll never forget the night. CAA s- messaged the. You know when back in the day when they mess- sent messengers. Oh yeah, yeah, with like scripts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, That's back in the day. In a manila envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I miss that kind of. Or or you would have to go pick it up. You're like, I gotta go get the script out of the mailbox. I love that shit. Yeah, and they sent. Scan- it wasn't called. It was scandal. It was damage, damage control. control. Damage control. Yeah, there it is. And I was like, all right, man, let me see. And I read it, and she had me at free. Well, first of all, I didn't read it. I put it on my my nightstand. And I was like, I'm not gonna read it. And I told CAA and Brillstein Entertainment Partners, my my team, I said, nah, I'm not gonna do no TV. And something woke me up in the middle of the night and I and I woke up, it was like two o'clock in the morning and I picked up the script and I just said, let me read. I said, I will give it 10 pages. And first thing oh, they on. had me hell yeah Harrison. hello Harrison's got they the had me hello monologue. wait did you, did you have the first line in the script do no, you, are I you the do. first Harrison Wright, you, Quinn Perkins oh Harrison my Wright, god yes. this is this not a date she can do the lines right I now right now right now we can do it and then he says like I'm not I'm not here to bring you on a date this is not a date yeah and I go what do you mean this is not a date and he goes what are you drinking or something I say a martini but like this is not a date boom and that and I had just Three days before that, watched. So, by the way, I had like done Studio 60 with Aaron Sorkin. That's right. And, you know, Josh Molina comes from the Aaron Sorkin yeah, camp. Yeah, Sorkin yeah. And so it's always pace and 
and you, you got that. You got to do the. Can't dialogue. drop that ball. Don't drop the yeah. ball. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna put this Aaron on it, and me and Katie. It was like, uh, what's the movie? The the Apple movie. I mean, not oh, the, oh, oh yeah, the social movie. network hey, for social network. Yes. That just came out, and I said, I want to do this scene. We have to pace it like Aaron. We have to do it like yeah. this. And boom, and we did it. And I remember Wil- 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 Wilmer Valderrama came to visit me. Yeah, see, what? Columbus Short brought, you brought all, all the, the be- stars, dude. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't so you bring Wil- Madonna? Wil- 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 <laughs> you should have brought Madonna. We'll get into that. Yeah, so, we have to so, get into so, that. So, so Wilmer came and he was just like, "Do your thing." And I was so sh- I was so nervous, but Katie, he was nervous. Katie, which was- you don't get nervous. You're not like that. And I remember picking you up. We shared a trailer in the pilot. After the pilot, you guys shared a double yeah. banger. But in the pilot, we shared a double banger. And we're there, and mm. we know we're about to shoot the Quinn Harrison scene that yeah. honestly the starts opening the scene whole situation. Of the show. And he yeah. says, you will slay dragons. You will love the fight more than anybody else. And you got to say it. Say it. And I go, say what? Gladiator suit. You want to be a gladiator suit? I want to be a gladiator in a suit. <laughs> Boom. Scandal. Right? Okay. So that's the scene we're all talking about. I pick you up. I knock. And I remember like so vividly, we walked to the location, which was downtown. Yeah. And you were like nervous. I which was shook. You're not... We had rehearsed. We had done readings of the pilot for the studio and network. Yeah. Like you had it, but you were like, "I was shook." Yeah, that's a good you know thing, why? though. You that's know a good it thing. is a good you thing. You yeah. care. I felt like what we're doing is about to either win. Or it's just going to either fall on its face, or it's going to be fantastic. It's going to blow up. And, yeah. and and I remember that moment, and you were so Katie. Like I'm going to tell you. From, you know, Shoshana Bean has spoke highly of you. I love her. Um, Camila Martin has spoken highly of you. Broadway, I'm talking about equity. Broadway, they love you. Thank you. Right? So when I'm talking about her, I'm like, okay, I didn't know who she was. (laughs) Well, that's because I was a babysitter. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, can I ask you one other thing? This is the other thing I remember. I remember walking there and being like, oh, my God, I I think he's nervous. I was nervous too, but like obviously I hadn't done shit. Like I was nervous, but you were like, mm, it shouldn't. I mean, it was good that you were nervous. So then we did the scene, and the other memory I remember so well is after your coverage, they flip the camera on you and you do your monologue. And I remember everybody in Video Village standing up and giving you standing applause. Do you remember that? Really? Yes, I do. I remember oh. that. And it they was like be- never did that again. Oh, no, no, I because love that. because I had to see. The reason Wilmer was there is because I needed some like support, support. some right. emotional yeah. support. Because yeah. I was like, this is might be the moment of my career. Yeah. And I sat there and I had to sit there and look at this woman, this one, and I was like, no, Quinn, this is not a day. <laughs> da, 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 da. And, brrr, and and so what happened after that? We created scandal pace. Yeah. True or not true? True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah, From yeah, that yeah. day, I just said, spit it out as fast as you can <laughs> and get it out of your mouth yeah. and be done with it. And and I did that. And 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 and, and, the, and I mean, you knew because that oh, that makes every scene, every every time I've been in a film or a TV show and the pace and it's paced up, it's it's better. It makes it better. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Wait. So do you call Shonda, take it back really quick and said, I woke up in the middle of the night at two o'clock in the morning. I read the first 10 pages. I'm in. No. What did you do? So let me tell you what happened. Yeah. So I went over there and I walk in the the room and it's Betsy Beers, um, um, Jeff's uh, wife, Linda, 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 Linda Lowy. Yeah. It's Linda, Jeff. Yeah. I mean Linda, Betsy Beers, mm-hmm. Mary Howard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Shonda. all of them. Those oh, they're, they're damn. sitting there. Power. Like, like the the queen. Yeah. Right. As and they I are, was yeah. like, <laughs> I sat down and I was like. Boom. Okay. Okay. We had the meeting. Da, 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 da. We talked, and I said, "Okay." Boom. It was that, and I'm getting out of the room. I'm on my way out, but I said I had one more question. I said, "Who is going to play Olivia Price?" That was remember her name. It was Olivia oh, it Price. Was. It was Olivia that. Price, and Harrison Wright wasn't Harrison Wright. It was something else. It was some Harrison wrong. <laughs> but but was, so 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 Olivia Price. I said. Who's playing Olivia Price? And then it's and Olivia Pope is Carrie Washington. I love you for the rest of my life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's it. And then I feel like we all got super close because we rehearsed the pilot like a play. Like yes, we all we rehearsed it for like two weeks, right? Heck yeah. So we all got super close, which is rare because you'll get close shooting a show. But you were when not. You, you shooting, were not as close. I wasn't as close. You was, was you, I? No, you were. You were. You were. You were. 
feeling just did, it out. Yes, I was feeling <laughs> at the out. beginning. Yeah, yeah, you were well, totally like, feeling it out. Well, if you remember, I had like one line in the pilot, and New then girl. very last that's minute, that's what you said. Yes, and that's it. New girl. And then last me. minute, they wrote Shonda wrote that monologue in the bathroom. Yeah. But I don't, don't think I ever rehearsed that in the when we were rehearsing in that rehearsal room. That wasn't you even didn't rehearse yet. that. I don't believe so. I don't think so. That wasn't written till later. Well, because at the what? Studio Network yeah. table read, the only note that Shonda got was, "We want more gear. We want more gear. Oh. We want more of him." I, and I had a few yeah. scenes. I remember I walk in with the with uh, the rings for Henry Ian Cusick. What was it, Stephen for Stephen? Yeah. yeah. But what I happened? Left so you left a lot. Okay, I left a lot. Jeff Perry was moving furniture. <laughs> he was? Oh, yeah. This is true story. Job. I said peace out to Jeff Perry, like, as a... As a he like, was just moving a microwave moving into his wife's to, office. Uh, to, 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 he was just being a good husband. Being a good husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, boom, I get in the car, I get a call from CAA, they're like, Columbus, you got the part, da 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 and I'm like, holy shit. Not I remember Shonda telling me that she, uh, <laughs> we were at her house at some gathering watching the show, and she said that she, uh, that you were the only person that didn't audition, and that she called Jeff, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. 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 To vouch he got for me you. To job. vouch for you. To vouch Thank for you, bro. Yes. yes. Yeah. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah. Because Shonda My was like, guy. yo. Shonda had a policy on her show that she called people's previous bosses to yep. sort of check in if they were but like he wasn't a nice my boss person. well he was my boss as a loser worked with, i was you know? in the losers okay? oh yeah right, I right, right. the movie yeah, called yeah, the yeah, losers worked with him yeah with uh joel silver uh uh, uh idris alba me wow. Je uh, zoe zeldana wow. jeffrey oh, d wow. morgan he was the leader of our core right and he had by the way what a great what, actor. whatever his role was on gray's anatomy unbelievable was like Jeffrey Dean Morgan yeah. who got me um yeah. who got me who like vouched for you who said he, like he, he's a good he, dude but he also said, boom. but also Shonda loved you like I, I think he could have vouched for you and Shonda could have if she didn't like your work and like yes. who you were you I wouldn't mean, have been cast Diggs just for, do you know what I mean yeah let me just say though we on part of this podcast we have to go back and rewatch episodes which I have not done like when we watched it together when we were live tweeting you couldn't really we were watch it because we were yeah. like we were so yeah. trying to be with the gladiators and all this now that G a lot of time has passed we go back and we watch the episodes and you are oh my god Columbus you're we, we talk so, about you so much we talk about you so much on this podcast <laughs> your acting work is so Unbelievable! But you it was are only based on you guys, but you thank you. But you are like the gladiator, though. Yeah. You make it look. I don't know how you do phone flips and like and suits little twirls and, little, and like it, you your make, walk. You put your own moves let's, on it. Let's, let's explain that. So so when I <laughs> was a dancer, as well first you know that business as an actor, right? So uh, 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 Lawrence Fishburne, Morpheus, always told me. I, I was in, I was doing this movie called Armored, right? And I saw this man pick up a box, a, 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 like a, a case, and like put it, and it was like, with no dialogue, it was the most incredible thing I'd seen. It was wow. like choreographed. And yeah, it was like how right. he grabbed it, and he said, son, he calls me son, grasshopper, and he said, <laughs> always make business business. So if you pick up a, I wanna make it a moment. Right, right, right. And put that thing down. Uh, and everything, uh, everything. I couldn't do that. I can't either. <laughs> means I like something, right? I'm just like, eh. And, <laughs> so I was like, wow. And so everything that I did in Scandal, I wanted to, all of those tools, all of those notes, they were they were, they were, were coming from the, the ones that, you know, Jeffrey Dean Morgan from Jeffrey Wright to Lawrence Fishburne uh, to Matt well, Dillon to John Renault. Not to, Matt Dillon. I love Matt yeah, Dillon. Those guys, <laughs> not Matt Dillon. Dillon. They gave you cheat Hell codes. Yeah. They were giving me cheat codes. And I, you were just, Yo, you, you were white Yo, you need to hand this bushy. to me. You were white eyed Oh, I had tell. no, I was shot out of a cannon. Yeah. I had no clue what I was doing. I go back and we watch the episode. We have a part of our podcast where it's really not Guillermo. It's Katie and Guillermo's cringe-worthy acting moments. It's really just me complaining about what I'm doing in the episode because I, I hope and pray that I've come a long way from that. But, like, you were so confident, so cool. Like, you knew exactly what the show was. You knew exactly what the tone was. Like, you were in the pocket of – like, you are the quintessential, like, gladiator scandal to me. And yeah. watching it back, you're like yeah. – 
But you're also unbelievable. You, you're also a dancer, right? So all that yeah. all that business, like to make that look good, like you made it look good. It's hard to teach like people. You how had to that walk. advantage. Remember you know what we I mean? talked about on set all the time. We mm-hmm. would talk about like Madonna and my time with Britney. Uh, yeah, yeah. we gotta get into like, that. How how hard it is to teach human beings how to walk. <laughs> Like, do you, know, you like remember to teach a human how to walk? Yes. Do you understand without oh, looking yeah. like they're walking? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like why like is there walking? Like so how to oh walk? Oh my god! Yeah. Olivia when Pope she yeah. Olivia Pope walks can like walk that thing. Okay. She poked it out. Oh, how she about, can pop it This is when out. Columbus okay. Short doesn't know how to walk. We shot pilots, <laughs> the pilot for nights. To 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. for three weeks straight or some shit. My feet were screaming. And Kier, <laughs> yeah, Kier, feet, Columbus feet, was in these really fucking cool but super pointy <laughs> saddle shoes. And they were pointy. And the hallway oh was long because this was I before was like, OPA oh was on a stage. Gosh, and he's good. going up and down like for a thousand hours. You were limping. Like, I was like, I was you like, could walk. Like, your feet were like this like, in the front feet. of a pointed shoe. I was like, my feet. The way my feet were set up. Feet, little I was geisha like, feet. Oh, my, oh my God. They were at a point in that shoe. Oh, my. And, it was and you bad. Had some, you had a couple of those. Oh, I was waddling. I was well, like, first of all, could have walked Let's talk about your um, boobies. No, not oh. boobies. Because <laughs> I had cleavage. Not, that was the not, joke. No boobies. The um, What's it called? The wrap? Spanx? Spanx. Oh, we You're were queen so of spanked spanks. out. You were spanked up. Oh, you were spanky. God. It was so spanked spanky. out. I, because you I had to be spanky. in these sausage skirts. It was a fucking insane. She was like, okay. everybody can't breathe for her. I just, I, re- I remember every every morning coming on to set and Carrie would, you know, greet everyone and we'd bang on the table and say what episode it was. Yeah, just like, this is episode 310 or whatever yeah. it was. But you always walked in with like, with sunglasses on and your chancletas. Like looking like you'd had like a, a, a real night. Chunkleta like sandals, Those like slides. Oh. oh, but you would always have to me cool sneakers. But he, he, yeah, but it, both, but in both. the morning before he got into costume, you would yeah. have your chancletas on, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> To, get, to rest those feet that were oh, to get that them geared get up for those, those Harrison shoes. Wright shoes, so oh, painful. But you were such a rock star, such a movie star, walking on yes. in, into the into OPA it, just every morning, and I just remember looking at you and just thinking you were so cool and so amazing and so one. Your energy was just so beautiful and so happy, and you always brought so much you happiness did. to set. You know what I mean? Even on the worst Singing. days, yeah. The worst but, days. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I would see Guillermo. With the um, eye patches. Do you guys remember I used to cut my hair for the first two seasons? Oh yeah, by myself. Oh, Nobody you did cut it my hair till they finally so got you a barber, got me right? A barber, Stacy. Yeah. Shout out, Stacy. Yeah, Cus. yeah. But Love Guillermo Stacey. would be sitting and relaxing with those things under his eyes, what dying inside, like under eye and patches. I use them now. You use the them golden now? one. I want yeah. that. Those things. I use them what? almost you every have day. Them on. I yeah. need to do that. Those were. I need to do that so badly. Now wait, that's another question. Have you ever seen any episodes of Scandal? But like, yes, do you I've have watched fa- every episode. You have? Except when I died. Oh. After I died, it was over. Yeah. Yeah, but go Oh, ahead. yeah. Do you- well, in more ways than one, <laughs> it was over after you died. I mean, listen, I, w- the show was just never the same when no. when you left. I mean, it God, really different. wasn't. And, Wait, and no go. disrespect We're, we're going to get there. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you, some of your favorite, keeping it like highlights of acting stuff that you got to do? Like, do you have any memories for me? It's yes. obviously Gladiator Suit. Yes. Also, you slow dancing with Abby. Oh, oh that where is yes. Darby? Oh, my oh, God. Where is Darby She's Stansfield? doing great. That That's another thing I remember that, about that, you. That storyline, the that, Abby, uh, Darby, Harrison. Yeah. Well, no, no, Columbus Short and Darby, and Darby yes. Stansfield yes. is another storyline oh. because Darby is by the numbers. She's yeah. by the book. <laughs> She's so by the book. She is. She could never figure out how I was stumbling into work sometimes and like couldn't remember lines. Yeah. And she was struck. Or if I was late, or these are things that we'll talk about later. But Darby Stanchfield, I loved those moments. Um, the, the, the episode with the billionaire. Yes, you're yes, slow dancing. Yes. yes how yes. great was that? Oh, I just loved Like, because you're slow dancing because you lied. You framed David Rosen, who she's Correct. in love with, as Correct. being because an I was, abusive I, because, asshole because, because you were doing because what Carrie said. Told me to We've do. got a oh, David Rosen what, problem. That's what Olivia told whatever. me to do. That's Olivia such a told me to do up that. Episode. So I was oh like, I'm going to do it, there. but I'm, that's, my guy, that's my girl, oh. but I'm I'm doing, remember we, the, the microfiche episode when I'm like, we're doing oh, yeah, things on the microfiche, microfiche, you know, in the library. I kind of remember microfiche? What the hell? Okay, stop. First of all, guys. Let's just put it on. Do you guys remember this? <laughs> what? Forget episodes. When we had to have a meeting. 
yeah. a securities meeting and the guy came and broke down everything how to secure oh we're yes, about to be yes, a hit yes. he was like from disney oh, yeah. or something. i had no you remember idea that? what was happening yeah. i didn't know what was happening yeah I, did you yeah. remember I, oh, I remember it but i didn't know was what this the, the meeting was where happening. they were like if someone says scary shit to you online like this let is us know when he showed oh, us yes. how to use our phones to go through it was a full security and meeting. i was like i didn't remember that did you guys do ever do that? i was no. like i don't remember what he said no, like, but, but i look back like damn, damn i should have listened we should have been doing that now wait my other thing was remember this part where you go that's big office talk or something like you talk. are where everyone's fighting talk. for henry and q6 office and i got the office and you got the office. But, but, but you but, did it because you're oh, you remember I'm having flashbacks of your scene, something he throws you on your on the back oh, on the table. Yeah. And I was so mad. Arm. Oh, let's talk about that. <laughs> so so <laughs> I've always been taught do not ever lose a scene, right? Don't lose it. Jesus, Don't you lose. need to write an acting but I was book. Like, but you I was did like, it. You did I was it. like, I was like, he gotta body me? So I had I was like, I gotta have something I can do. But it's <laughs> But you did the aftermath. He does this fucking that laugh, like you still do super that. theatrical like turn and up off the table that I was. He was like, I couldn't you know get I mean? out like, the block. Well, were you trying to do that to be like, I'm cool, I'm cool? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the way it came off. That's a great so you did. You ended up winning the scene, uh, uh, yo. But another another scene that stuck out for me is the 752 episode oh, that was when Harrison one. goes into the room and sits with Huck, who is that you monologue know, saying the numbers. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I watched it again last night dude, too, just to refresh dude, my dude. memory. Who was who directed that episode? What's her name? Uh, Allison Liddy Brown. Allison. Oh, oh yes. Allison, oh. you're a credible director. Yeah, yeah. She took time with all. All of us she had did. big monologues oh, in that yeah. episode. Right? Except me, I just kept saying 752, 752, 752. <laughs> you, you were tripping. Yeah, but that sucked too. And and, and yeah. it was like you. Uh, what I was saying is what I could say for real is that was the realest monologue of my life. Ugh. So good. It spoke to my life and spoke yeah. to what it is right now. Like, you know, uh, you, you know, I basically, uh, you're a talker. I'm a like, talker. you're uh, talk, talk, right? talk, 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 talk. You're yeah. a doer. Yeah, and you, you, you're, you you're even say man. you're, you're an action man. Action you're a man. man. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm, I was like, yeah. Uh, so that's I'm getting chills. With uh, me but, but then also life. Columbus at the end, you say. I don't know what to do now. Like, I don't know what to do in this situation because me talking is not going to help you. So I'm just going to sit here with you and wait for as long as it takes and, and wait. I'm right here with oh, you. Oh, just broke my heart, brother, man. Brother you guys hood. were all so... Do you remember that during the rehearsal for those monologues, Shonda yep. came down, Hard. moseyed yep. on down to yep. set and sure sat did. in the Shonda chair never sure comes to set, and watched ever. you guys and do those monologues. And I was like, like that. oh my God. <laughs> By Here the way, go. I got mine at 6 p.m. and I was up first at 6 a.m. <laughs> That's the shit they used to but do to me because I was... This is what and I deserved it. I was listen, the rookie. Listen, That's fine. Listen, Throw me in. I will say this, and I'll put this on everything I love, from Josh Molina, Jeff, Jeffrey Wright, Tony Golden, you, Darby, you, um, everyone, Ark Carey, of course, was... We showed up. Yeah. When we when it was yeah. time, we knew. I it don't was, care what, what was going on in our lives personally. Yeah. But when it, they said action, we had to show up. Yeah. And we but had it, to put it down. It also felt like it was something special, something rare that doesn't happen often. Our yeah. our all of us coming together and being on this yeah. show. Do you oh, know what I mean? It was lightning in a bottle. And then when when the pieces start getting some pieces get removed and oh, shifted oh around, god. Bellamy. Oh my god, so great. Then then it it starts to become something else. Not necessarily bad, but it just becomes something different. But there's nothing like those first like three and seasons. And I have to of say, scandal, when we watch you know it back, I mean? like we haven't gotten there yet, but there's something about like the gladiators in OPA yeah. when it's us and yeah. Darby and oh. Carrie that just feels so. That's oh, good stuff. Like it's just yeah. the most fun, and and the soundtrack, and the music, yeah. and the moves, and you're so Songs cool, and singing. you're so weird, and I'm such a dork, right. and Abby's so tough. Like it was just like, ugh, I, it, was I really makes me so happy. Yeah. it was but, really the off camera. Yeah. So so like, like if we're gonna be honest, like we spent most most more time together than we spent with our family. Oh, oh yeah. a hundred percent. We were 100%. together. Yeah. Hours on hours, hours. Weekly. Millions of hours. I mean, sometimes we did, remember Fratter Days? Yeah, oh Fratter Days. Yes. Yeah. Fratter Days? Oh we my God, weekends. I love that we you said that. I'm like, like, how are we rapping in Saturday morning? <laughs> like five in the crazy. morning. It was really it crazy. Was crazy. It was a yeah. lot of time. And then we'd be back 5 a.m. Monday morning. Yeah. Like, it was barely any time. Yeah, yeah. So you got questions. So let's Okay, know. yeah, okay, okay. Fave costume, did you take a suit or seven? Oh, it's the one I took a picture with Guillermo in. It's my favorite suit. It's a three-piece suit. It's gray, and I had a vest. It's a vest 
suit and I had a t- clock and like she gave me a uh, time. Do you remember? Wow. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. That one? That was my Lynn favorite Lynn Paolo suit. loved Lynn you. Lynn was sick. She, she had, had a me. real I was soft clean, spot I was the cleanest black you. man on television <laughs> yeah, for, about, she for about two and a half years. Yeah. But check it out. Yeah. Let's keep yeah. it up. You also okay. wore suspenders really well. Like you wore suspenders. You, you had an episode where you wore pink suspenders and I, I you look so pink. freaking real dope. And you were like tight pants. I remember there being like a lot of your butt was Weight, and then the pants got tighter because oh, it was everybody. the same thing. <laughs> it was like, but the same. It was like she had to start letting things out, like oh, letting yeah. the. But I was squeezing McGee in there. <laughs> and McGee. I was squeezing McGee's in some of those. Suits. That booty, that like, high booty. Season high three booty. into season three, high booty was yeah. tight. I was okay. walking through OPA. I had to sit I don't down. think you can answer favorite <laughs> actor to work with. Um, I can. I can. I have favorite actor to work with is my entire scandal cast and I put that on everything because we played together the yeah. right way. That's true. Um, it felt like Jeffrey one, Wright. Right? Jeffrey yeah. Wright's my favorite actor. Wow, I would die after um, him. Um, you know, he pushed me. Um, I could name a bunch of actors, but the way we worked, we got we were a team yeah. uh, and it was just I don't know, it was just it's just yeah, I, that's and you're right. Actor. It felt like a t- it felt like one. one. Like, well, like especially one. all those scenes we had to nail where yeah. each person would get a line or a paragraph, and I remember being like, "Oh my god, are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it?" Where no one would flub because yes. it would be like we were like playing a team sport. Yes. Like yeah. it's like yes. you yes. go, yes. then I go, yes. then you're, you're not yeah. ad-libbing. You're not yeah. ad-libbing. No. We're not allowed to. Yeah. No. Right? So what I what what Shonda was writing and all the writers, kudos to them. All the writers on Scandal, they were writing a symphony. And so when you're writing a symphony, everybody has to do their part to execute the scene. Yeah. Oh, and, hell yeah. And, and as we were doing that, there was music in the, the oh, language. Oh, yeah. Right? And well, all we had to do was live in that white Yeah, yeah we felt like yeah. the orchestra. We right. all needed we, each other to yeah. make the music. We're still gonna, working yeah. with this <laughs> metaphor. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Before we get into some deeper stuff, we normally do um, Guillermo's Six Degrees of Horror yeah. because he's obsessed <laughs> with horror films. Which he's obsessed. Yeah, well, and, and really quickly, the, the movie Quarantine that you did with Jennifer Shit. Carpenter yeah. is one of the greatest freaking horror movies. Shout out to the Dallas around. brothers. Oh, my God. Yeah, shout out to them. What was that like working on that film? I was freaked the fuck out. Yeah, I'm sorry, I cussed. Oh, you can cuss. Oh, okay. we, oh, so, we oh, fucking so, curse we, all the time. Don't I don't. Li- I don't watch horror because I don't like to put uh-huh. that in my spirit. Yeah, yeah. Right. So just, I'm that's with me. you. That's me. I'm not. Watching I'm not that. a horror guy. Me either. Yeah. Yeah. Some. I have friends that are like. That's yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you know, David yeah. Hervesky. All my guys like they love horror. I was. I was scared. Really? <laughs> In real I was life. scared. I was like, we're in this studio. Uh, you stage, were creeped out. We on Sony lot. We're on stage twelve, and they built this apartment. And like, there was real zombies. Like, I was just like, I gotta, because you gotta I tell gotta the truth. You yeah. gotta tell the truth that as an actor. But I was, I didn't have to act. I <laughs> you was freaked scared. out. I was scared. <laughs> you were and really then they scared. turned me into a zombie. And then I was like, I've never. How do you play a zombie? I was like, so I really committed. Uh, uh, I know. Did you have to do that? He was so good. He was so good. Wow. But well, also, only a moment. Yeah, but also in that movie, you worked with Jennifer Carpenter, who is in The Exorcism of Emily Which I Rose. Saw first. Yo, you and saw that, was, and you don't and like the, horror movies. I that saw, is the most saw, terrifying. I, I went, devil. When I, I got the movie, movie, when I got the movie, Clint told me, Clint, who you is know, it? Clint Culpepper. Joey, Joey King. King. Joey wow. King. Wow. She's a good actress. Columbus. Yeah. So, so wait. So Clint says. Go see I said, The Exorcism of Emily yeah, Rose. Yeah, when he gave me the movie, he said, go see this movie, this Oof. the girl. And I said, all right. And I went to right there on um, um, Van Owen or Victory and uh, Laura Canyon, this movie theater by myself. Yeah. And I saw the nope. movie and I was you crazy. freaked out. I can never watch her. it again. And I love horror movies. What? She's, and it's based on a true story of a girl yeah. that gets possessed yeah. no, by, by a demon. No, nope. You're not and, watching it. Yeah. Well, check out this segue. This this fucking slick segue. Give it to <laughs> us, going G. From, from Give slick. it to us, G. Not a sexy slick. <laughs> going from six, degree, six degrees of horror, I, I'm going to go to six degrees of Britney Spears. Oh, I'm let's Britney go. Bitch. Because... <laughs> Because we both had our run-ins with Miss Spears. I need Spears. to hear. I'm so fucking Very sad. Lovely, I've had a run-in positive. with her too, though. You have two? You, you did? fucking know it. And I Shonda. Need, I need all the stories. And Shonda, Listen, too, we well, all she agree. wrote the first script. Yes. Shonda wrote Shonda Crossroads. Yes. Okay. Crossroads. Okay. This is with Six Zoe. Degrees of Britney so Spears. I mean, so Shonda got both of my bees. <laughs> okay, mine okay. is really 
messed up. Okay. But Columbus choreographed the Onyx a Hotel tour, tour yeah. right, Columbus? Yes, I did. I did. Yo, I mean, what in the what, world? How did you book that? Like, how did that come about? It was so weird. Okay, so so I was on tour with Stomp. I was on Broadway. Right, oh, yeah. right, right. I That's was right. Stomp. Like, I'm making sounds with them. Bum, 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 with your feet. And, with them which feet. is why you so good at skate up because and my, and my, you would talk and be like, that's, Everything was like a thing. That's why the feet were jacked up because you were stomping for stomping years for before years. scandal. So I, I, I said I can't. I had a layoff. Do you guys know what a layoff is on Broadway? No. You, if you're on a Broadway tour, you get layoffs. So we had a seven week layoff. They give you money to sit down and chill until we pick up again mm -hmm. on whatever tour we're on. And uh, this was right before September 11. I was in Tampa, Florida, and I, I was high on. Um, Molly. Oh, no, right. not Molly. Molly didn't exist. It was ecstasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that I, was the I, first and Molly. I, and I saw <laughs> Britney with a Pepsi can, and I was with my friends, and I said, castmates, and I said, I'm going to work for her one day. And no! They were, like, they were like, you're freaking crazy. <laughs> anyway, come home for the layoff. I got, I get this house. I got $7,000, so I put $4,000 down on this house, and I'm living with these dancers. And they're all dancers. I'm just chilling, yeah. right? But they're, you know, helping me pay the rent. In New York? And no, in, in LA. LA. Okay. And they're going to dance auditions and stuff. And I was like, I want to do that. And of course you could do oh it. Oh my you could do God. It. I was like, I want to do that. So I started going to dance auditions. And Wade. Yes, Wade, Wade who's Robinson. a choreographer. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Wade. He was. And my. So, but I'm, Michael I'm Jackson producing too. music. So the, the here's the correlation. I was producing music with my partner, Kevin Tench Rowan, who was Wade's assistant. And so he was like, we are making music. We're producing music. We're, we're writing and producing for artists that are in the game. And he says, come to this audition. And I got cut in the first round. <gasps> I didn't How have dare the they? With Brian Friedman, I couldn't do the. I was. I, I don't I believe it. I, know, I didn't have the. Skill. I don't believe it. I wasn't it. ready yet. Okay, okay. 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 And so I got cut, and I was like, man, someday. So I worked. So what I started doing was, it takes ten thousand hours to be a master of your craft. So I was right. like, I'm gonna go to class every day. So I started obsessing. I quit the tour. Quit my job. Yeah, I quit, quit my job. <laughs> wow. I said, I'm not coming back. September 11th, I was supposed to be in Boston. Flight United. Wow. Maybe not That's the same why. flight. Yeah, but, but still. Wow. wow. Scary. And a scary September time where you're like asking yourself, what yeah, the hell I am said, I doing no, with my time? I, I, I pivoted. And I said, I'm in five, six, seven, <laughs> seven eight, eight. And boom, one, every day. Two, and, two, three, and, three, and, and then a year later, a year later, I'm. I was working with Jamie King on a Nike Industrial. Jamie and and the Talawega brothers and um, um, the, the, uh, these people. Jamie King, and who 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 produces and it Madonna. works for Madonna, has Jamie, done a, a bunch King. of tours of Madonna. And so and I Brittany. get off the plane. We do a Nike Industrial in uh, Japan. Where were we? Japan or somewhere? And and he, and we land back in LA and X. And he goes, "Tomorrow I need you to meet me in Chicago." I said, "Meet you in Chicago." He said, "Your flight's already booked." I'm literally getting my bag from the thing. I go to Chicago, and all of the legendary choreographers are in Chicago. Are and I'm like, crazy? what is happening? Like, I said, what what's happening? I know. Right I'm about now. to tell you. I said, what's happening, Jamie? And he, it's Oprah. We got to do Oprah. Uh. It's it's Oprah. We have to do the Gap campaign. Was happening. <gasps> Madonna and Missy. Oh yes. Holy remember? Shit. Do you remember? That? Yes, of course. So, so he goes in back in the back of the stage. So I'm looking at Gil. I'm looking at Brian Friedman. I mean, all. I mean, like all of the, the top of the game. The the legendary choreographers. Yeah. And he goes. I need six eight counts right now, Columbus. Uh. Teach it to them. Uh. And we're going on stage in 15 minutes. I said. <laughs> so I looking at hi guys, uh, love you guys, <laughs> fans. <laughs> I'm a big fan. And five, six, seven, and I busted. Oh, I created my something God. out of my, out of nowhere. Boom! We got on stage. We did the Oprah. I booty bumped with the Oprah. Awesome moment. Shut up. And, and when I landed back in L.A., he goes, "I want you to be on the Britney tour." What? Yeah. And I'm doing the Britney tour. So I got the Britney tour. One day while I were do I'm at rehearsal for two weeks. I'm doing rehearsals with Britney. 
as a dancer, just as a dancer. Right. Yeah, you're a hired and, and, dancer. And my partner, Kevin Tench Rowan. Yes. We are, who's a really dope director now. Shout out, Kev. Yeah. And he's like, Columbus, we have a session tonight. And what are you doing? I'm like, I'm at Britney rehearsal, dude. He's like, be here at six o'clock. I was like, boom, get to the studio. I'm at the studio. I was like, who's our session with? Yeah. And he's like, wait for it. Wait for it. Why? Who? The, Why? The, the gate opens. Yeah. And it's fucking Britney. Oh my god! He didn't god. tell Britney it's me. She, uh, he didn't tell me it's Britney. They come. She comes in the studio Brittany with Felicia. Bitch. With Felicia, <laughs> remember Felicia? Who's Felicia? No. Felicia, her Bye, assistant. Felicia. Oh, I, oh her yes, yes, I don't know course. Felicia. Who is come who's on, been on a, on a bunch of documentaries? Oh, Felicia. She's an old family friend. Yeah. Yes, yes, Felicia. Yes. Got it. Okay. Britney and Felicia get wow. out the truck. Big, big Rob. It was big. No, it's Big Mike. They get out the truck. <laughs> boom. And she's like, oh, my God, Columbus, what are you doing? I said, "I'm. what are you doing? Kim? Yeah. And she's like, you're a producer? I was like, yeah, I'm a producer. Wait, what song did you guys do? Uh, Me Against the Music. Oh, my God. So Wait, with Madonna? Is that the one with Madonna? Okay, let me tell you. This. I'm finishing the story. Are you kidding me? So Britney goes, we're in the studio. We're working. We're doing remixes, all the, like, cool remixes for the tour, like, to make... Certain numbers, reinvent right, right, right. certain numbers. Oops, I did it again. Yeah. Yeah. You know, t- yeah, you know, slave. Yeah, bring, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know, we're remixing stuff. And she goes, I really hate. And Larry Rudolph, never forget, Larry Rudolph is there. And he and and she goes, I, the 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 single they want me to do is called um, Outrageous by uh, R. Kelly. And she goes, I don't like this single. I don't want this to come out. I don't. I want me against the music. I said, so what's the problem with me against the music? I heard the record, me and Kevin listened to the record, and I said, I'm just sitting there, and I rocked for a couple seconds, and I said, I got an idea. Didn't you just kiss Madonna last week on the no. movie awards? I swear to God. I said, didn't you just kiss Madonna? She said, yeah. I said, call Madonna right now. Get her on this record. You oh, get Madonna on my this God. Record. You get Madonna on this It's because of record. you, Columbus? You get Madonna on That's this record. Freaking Did amazing. You, uh, I swear to God, this is how it went down. I said, if you get Madonna on this record, she says, are you serious? I said, call Madonna right now. Right now. There's nothing. No, don't put off tomorrow what you can do right now. Call Madonna. She calls Madonna. Madonna's like, I want to hear it. I want to see it. So Madonna flies to L.A. the next day. We ha- I set up a rehearsal at Culver City Studios with all the dancers to show her the presentation of right, what we're right, doing. Right, right, and, and Madonna's sitting there. And, and did you choreograph what you showed? Of course. So Madonna <laughs> was like, yeah, I'm in. Next thing I know, I hired Paul Hunter to direct yes, the video. Yes, Paul Hunter. And oh my God. boom, we did an MTV you Dude. Know, making the video. We did all this stuff, and then we made the video. And then cut to me doing the I Wanna Go video yes, with Britney. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I got that. <laughs> that how was did you chance. get that? The director was a fan of weeds <laughs> and half baked. And so in the beginning of the video, I stand up. It was, she says, you know, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool from half baked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm the guy that when she yes. says you're cool, she points to me and I stand up and give the thumbs up. I, that's all I was supposed to do in the video. And then the night Were before. Were you so fucking psyched? Oh, yeah. Do you but you know the how ni- close Madonna was coming, about to come to our set? Oh, my God. Are you kidding? He wouldn't have survived it. No. He would not have wow. survived it. Close. He would have had a massive really? heart attack. I was working on it so oh, on the man. Low, like trying to get Madonna to just come in one day and just squeeze you. <laughs> you would have died. Die. Yeah. Died. Well, oh he did end God. up meeting her for I two did. seconds. Ellen, Portia Ellen. arranged yeah, yeah, it yeah. when Portia was a regular on Scandal. Yes. She came in. She was like, Ellen DeGeneres is having Madonna as a guest tomorrow. We're going to get G on it. He's going to be the guest DJ. Guest DJ. Oh, I got to hug her. Oh, he bowed down to her feet and showed him her art. Yeah, yeah. I showed her my tattoo of her. She was like, she doesn't know. And I got down on my knees and bowed. And the look on Madonna's face was like, oh, yeah, that's exactly where you should be. (laughs) Why isn't everyone else on their knees bowing down to me? I loved that. But anyway, this isn't about Madonna. It's not about Britney. It's about Columbus Short. Yeah, but it's the best. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I mean. Like, y- yeah. you brought all of that to Harrison yeah. is how yes, I feel about yes, it. Yes. Like, the moving and the musicality of Harrison, it is not lost on me that no one, none of us could do that because yeah. none of us were choreographing for fucking Britney Spears <laughs> or asking Madonna to be on one of her songs. Um, okay, we already talked about this part. Okay, deep questions. Let's go. Let's go. I don't even know where to start with this. But, like, right. I'm trying yeah. to even remember, like, where when it started to fall apart so i would i would whisper in guillermo's ear because 
you know, I was struggling, guys. Like yeah. I was, I, you know, my marriage was, a, it was toxic. It was horrible. It was terrible, and I was using drugs uh, to, to, to try to battle whatever I was going through with my marriage and all this stuff. But I just, oh, the one thing I knew, my life could be in shambles. The one thing I knew was not let you guys down. So I'd come into Guillermo and tell him stuff like, man, this this heaven, this is what's going on. Da, da, da. You know, I was showing up late to work, unprofessional. I was doing, I, was, I just started to fall apart because I had, I, my life became unmanageable. And, mm. and, and I didn't, and I wanted to protect myself from shame and also Shonda and Mary, I thank you guys. Betsy, I thank you guys. They were trying to protect me too. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and I, when it, but when it came, when it became to, when I wasn't being honest with things and wasn't like, what's really going on? Are you with your wife? Are you not with your wife? We told you to get out of that situation. You're not, right. you're still in it. You're doing all these weird things, blah, blah, blah. And then once it was over, well, I remember the call. So I was in this 10,000 square foot house. And I remember you getting that. Yep. And I'm in this 10,000 square foot house. I knew season four, I'm about to get paid. We about to get paid. Right? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, were, yeah. We yeah. about to get paid. And I, boom, jumped out here. But I had already made my private decision to remove myself from the toxicity. Yeah. But they were, the person, the individual, wasn't. they were like, oh, he really is doing that. Uh-huh. And then it was headline uh, out right. of nowhere, out of nowhere. This is true, out of nowhere. A headline: Shonda calls me with Betsy, Mary, uh, uh, Paul Lee, head oh, of, God, of the oh, shit. president of ABC. Yeah, you got ABC. Paul Lee on Paul the line Lee's on the phone. Fuck out you don't want that call. Um, <laughs> no, that's a ha- tough call. All <laughs> the agencies, but everybody's on the phone, and they're like, "Columbus, we need no more headlines." I said, "I swear to God, there will be no more headlines." I'm trying to stay out the way. So I dipped to Arizona, and I dipped that to Arizona. And two weeks later, TMZ dropped a headline that I that I ransacked my house or some 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 headline. I don't remember, but it's something like that. Who was and releasing? I don't know. No, 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 this was the, you got to know what. Okay. It's, it's just it was strategic. So that happens. I go into a spiral. Because I get the call. I know Monday morning. Yeah. This happened on a Friday. Yeah. I said, Monday, I'm watched. gone. I'm gone. Ugh. No, I know it for sure. So I was just praying. I was like, but they called me. I was like, they said, what did they said? You know, we're going to, we can't move forward, Columbus, like this. And we were going into season four, guys. Yeah. I was so brokenhearted. And I went into, I went into a dark, dark mm. place for years. And, and, uh, because not only were you guys my family, it was my livelihood. Mm-hmm. Of course, your um, family. My rep- you know, my name. Yeah. Um, and when it was not, you know, I had my own issues, but the the issues that were being named in the public were not true. my issues. Yeah. So I was just like, you know, were they than, not other true? Other than cocaine. Were, uh, no, no, yeah. So, right. no, obviously, right. drugs sure. drugs were an yeah, issue yeah, and right. your oh, marriage yeah. was an issue. Right. But there were things that came out in the press I that were not put, true. Yeah, I never abused no women. Like, mm-hmm. you, this, I was the first Me Too guy. I started it. I Before it was even Me Too. It wasn't even, it was just me. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> okay. So, um, but the drugs and things like that, that was like in C, because I remember. Season three. Yeah, like one and two. You guys supported my son's football team. Oh, yeah. You guys, yeah, you guys that's put right. all that money in. Oh, that's yeah. That's right. That's right. right. The Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I, mean? I remember all that, all that yeah. shit. You know what but you I were was so, I, and I, I, you know, it's funny, I didn't mention it, but I remember. You know, you're such a stand-up guy in your heart. Like, I remember you're complaining about your feet hurting so bad. And we're rapping at 7 o'clock in the morning. And you're, like, rushing home to go straight to, like, take your kid to school. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you were, like... Yeah. And then, I don't know when it shifted. Whatever happened in season three. I don't know what drug And I started changed, keeping but... things secret from you guys. Yeah. Like, I Guillermo was my secret squirrel. Oh, that's <laughs> Like, good. for real. He knew about Ida, my wife. Mm-hmm. You know? Aww. Uh, he knew that was happening early, with the little small little that's devils. So well, we were yeah. we were trailer mates too. Like yeah. we were, we yeah. shared yeah. A, a trailer, a wall. But a I wall. Was, but, yes. but Shonda Very thin always wall. told me, just tell me the truth. And I, I was so ashamed. Of yeah. course, of my that's, life. Yeah, like it was raggedy. My life was raggedy. And I just want to say, since I was a kid, the only thing I knew was entertainment. 
the only thing I knew how to do was to dance, to sing, to play the mu- play drums, play keyboard, play sing, sing and act. That's all I knew how to do. I didn't know how to do anything when the rug was proverbially slipped from underneath mm-hmm. me. So I went into a spiral and I kept making stupid ass mistakes. I was doing it on purpose. I was making dumb, dumb decisions until my wife, thank you to my wife, um, who was my friend before she was my wife, and was like, Columbus, you are better than this. You are, you can, and, and, and I, and she, and then we, and, and we, she got pregnant. And then with Denzel, and I named him Denzel. And from the, the moment Denzel was born, it was like, let's go. Let's get it back right. right. Good and things it, starting to happen. Yes, yes. yes. And, and I'm just, I, it was just a change in my life. And life's not perfect, but when you. Of course not. Yeah. When, you're, when you're walking with the proverbial scarlet letter on your mm-hmm. back or this, 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 this misnomer or this dark cloud, it's hard to, it's hard. And the hardest part of it, I'll, if anything, was missing you guys. Mm-hmm. I put that on everything I love. For us too. Was that man. letting you guys down? It was. Really I knew hard. you guys couldn't talk to me. I knew Carrie couldn't talk to me. I knew it was. I knew what it was that you don't have to even say. That it was just like Columbus is boom, bomb, ostracized <sighs> type thing. But that was we, awful. I, it was awful. You know but, how, yeah. You know how hard it was to shoot that scene where where die. Harrison dies. I kept thinking like we were all like just... sobbing that day. Everybody, even Oliver. I remember Oliver. I mean, miss crying, Ollie, man. Yeah, that was that was one of the hardest. Well, you know what it was? It was so hard to, to watch. Honestly, like as your friend, but also as an artist, it was just like, I mean, it was really hard to watch someone mess up. Yeah. Who has more yeah. talent in the the, in his finger than anybody, you know? And it was like even you on your worst day, if you're late or you had had a night or whatever it was, like you even then your acting was phenomenal. Still brought it, and yeah. like to watch someone <laughs> not acceptable, have, but yeah, no, right, no, that's not professional, not acceptable. Not but I'm just saying, you're such a talented human being, yeah. and to watch you for whatever reason sabotage and make the choices that so you couldn't get it. yourself out was hard to be like oh my god like please please don't 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 mm-hmm. we've got such a good thing going like let's Man, do it I don't let's do get it emotional no. No. because i remember the day when you guys uh you and darby you guys pulled up on the van when it was all going down that day i was ha- i was having a nervous breakdown and uh, I, th- I just had to get through the day, right? And we got through the day, and you know I, I pushed through all of that, and and uh, man, I was just like, I'm not gonna do this today. <laughs> I'm not gonna get emotional today. But That's you okay. guys don't even know. Aww. Like I'm sorry. Aww. I'm sorry, Katie. I'm sorry, Guillermo. It's okay. Like I'm from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry, man, because you guys were my team and I was a team leader. And I let you guys down. And I I I, I deal with that every day. You're so good, man. If if, if anything, it you know, you I never felt like you let me, me down. Either. I I felt more pissed off and upset and so sad that you weren't going to be there anymore and See, you were letting y- yourself down that's what it is more than anything i never felt like what the fuck is Col-? it was more like where's columbus like he's he's gone I that's not Shonda fair down. do you know what i mean i let carrie down and, yeah but and- that's have you ever talked to them since no you haven't i've talked to carrie but i have not been able to say i'm sorry yeah and and you know through all you know therapy and, and the groups and the classes and all the stuff that I've done it's about making amends and I just like I've been able to make amends to the closest alligators to the boat but I've mm-hmm. never been able to this is the first time if Shonda's hearing this if Carrie's hearing this that I'm sorry Tony I'm sorry Jeff I'm sorry Bellamy I'm sorry you know what I mean like that that's it um, well, say about that. And listen, every time we, we all speak and we get together and, and you come up, it's it's it's, never, it's nothing but love. It like is. It always, like always, truly always, always. Columbus. It is always like. And 
Like it is old. Like yeah. I have never heard yeah. anybody truly like it's what Guillermo was saying. Everyone was like, we don't want to lose you. Yeah. And we yep. felt like we had this, you know, it was so crazy being on a Judy Smith, Olivia Pope show because I think actually Judy, I'm sorry. Maybe oh. you were going down way earlier than any of us kind of knew. And we were so good at like keeping shit under wraps almost <laughs> because we were fixers. Yeah, oh yeah. That like, yeah. I think like even yeah. before, you know, I don't know what was going on in your personal life, but stuff was going on. I don't know if Judy helped you yes, or she did. Shonda. She did. Yeah, I, and I feel like, I don't know if that was for better or for worse, who I knows, but. Down. You know, and uh, you know, so so part of but it's the, a long time ago now, and yeah. again, like Guillermo said, no one ever so, so ever yeah. said bad shit about you. Yeah. So ever. I, I'll say this in closing: is that I didn't know the impact of me being an African American male, number two on mm. a call sheet after Stephen left. Yeah. Second season. Yeah. We were in our bubble. We all we did was work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was and all yeah. in work and Twitter. That's what we yeah, did. Yeah. 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 I didn't know did. I didn't know how I was really impacting a culture. Right. Oh my god, that's it was a lot of pressure. cultural yeah. moment. I couldn't have oh. know. It's, and so yeah. until I was fired. One time Dave Chappelle, I went to his, to the Laugh Factory and Dave Chappelle was there and I I had done I got on stage because I don't know if you guys know I do stand up on the you know, I've been doing oh, started in stand up early I love it. and um so anyway dave i went up before dave and dave dave goes he goes columbus short this is crazy this is ridiculous so he said he was he, this this man was on scan of harrison right he said how'd you fuck it up <laughs> right in front of everybody and i was just like oh he said this is this, 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 this. and he just Ugh. it was such a dealt he he killed me but he was killing me with love yeah. and 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 you know from that day, I just was like moving through Earth, mm. like journeying through Earth with a with a with a with a cloud, and it's like every move I was making, I was like, I got how am I gonna? I, I almost gave up a few times, mm. like multiple times. Acting, but, you, you mean? Know, I gave just, up on oh, yeah. life, not yeah. to commit suicide, but I'm saying right. just like I'm gonna. This is I'm done, and I don't know what else to do. I don't. I'm not. And and. Thank you, thanks be to God for my wife, for, for my kids, inspirations that come from multiple sources. And I prayed for this day, mm. the day that I could look at you yeah. and say I'm sorry, and look at you and say I'm sorry. I love you. And, yeah, and, love and, you man. And, and have this one moment to make amends. And this is a blessing right now. So that's all we I We feel say. that way. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, we, you've been, wa we were like, can we get Columbus on here? Like, yeah. Do you think he would be open to like hanging out and talking about it? Because honestly, dude, you're such. When we watch it back, like you're the show. Yeah. Like it's just like, yeah, you're so. We were the show. Yeah. You were. It's never, we were it was show. never the same without. So you how there. did you get like? Yeah. Ha, tell me about now, like ten years later, however long it is. I think it's even longer. Longer. Twelve. Yeah. I don't know. Something like that. Twelve. 20. How did you, I know, thank God, your wife and your kids like set you straight and clean and things like that. But was there like, what else helped you? Therapy, you said? Oh, rehab? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, have no, you done? Not uh, like, rehab. I, I, I started going to 12 steps and, 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 and going to group meetings great. with, you know, people that have struggled with all kind of things. And through that, I've become an believe it or not um, an avid, uh, like an ambassador and an advocate right. and a That's leader huge. in these spaces where I'm like these people are broken um, these people are struggling and and and, I, and it's 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 every week I just I get something else and uh, so I've been doing that for a while and it's changed my life in terms of interpersonal relationships and even me and my wife, couples therapy. Like I mm -hmm. want our marriage to thrive. Yeah, yeah. you know. What I, mean? I had it and today. So you know, what thank I mean? God. <laughs> it's good. Like Shappy, you got to deal with Shappy. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. You gotta Shappy deal has to deal with, with me. Yeah. Oh. Right. You got to yeah. deal with. You know, what I mean? you got to yeah. deal with you. I'm leaving him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we got to deal with humans, and yeah. and and through that, when my life was completely goal oriented, my goals now are peace in yeah. my home. Yeah. Um, peace with my kids, their productivity 
education surrounded by love, non-toxicity mm -hmm. in the home, yeah. all of these yeah. things. These are the things that, yeah. those are the things that are important to me and, and to end my life. Yeah. And so that's, at, and, and, and let me just say this, even though those are the things that are important, don't think that I don't miss being at the highest level of the game. Of course. Because yeah. this is my craft. Yeah. I miss it. So tell me about that. Have you been acting lately? Like what's going on in that Well, world? I was relegated to the two B <laughs> movies and B T plus minus B T minus and all of those things. So I was doing those. Yeah, you but know, the work, they were paying they were listen, they was keeping food in my mouth. That's listen, great. I can name <laughs> a couple of things I am so proud of after scandal guys, that I bed. Listen hey, to me. Listen, I have done the, some but here's yeah. the thing. So work. I started a tech company. I play a lot of golf. Um, oh, yeah, and, and you're started, a fucking athlete. Yeah, I'm an athlete. And, <laughs> and I'm damn right. I know. So so I, I play a lot this. of golf. So I started a tech company called Orca United Society. Orca United, we're dealing in um, tech, but we're Web 3, Web 4. We're dealing with sports, entertainment. Um, we are in multimedia, the new Web 3 multimedia uh, entertainment company. So with that has come multiple opportunities um, as we're leading the way in understand. I was on, I was, I was, I was dealing with AI before SAG was there. Wow. Right? Wow. right. And that's what I was doing on the low. How the fuck did you get into this? Um, <laughs> magical mystery. <else. laughs> and, but I'm blessed. And so, oh, yeah. and so, but, but what the core is, I want to make prod, I want to continue to make good television continue to make good film, continue to put athletes in positions to be successful um, on the golf course, on the football field, on the basketball court, any, mm -hmm. in any avenue. Um, and, and that is kind of the conglomerate that's been kind of brought to me. But one of the things that was hyper important, and I'll bring it back to one, until home got right, nothing that I do mm. it was going to be right. Mm -hmm. And this is us getting it right. Yeah, hell so yeah. I'm just, I love you guys. Oh, dude, man, we love, we love you, love you so much. Short. Always Columbus. <laughs> oh, my God, we love you. I am content and happy where I am in life. Obviously, you know, I, I believe that great things are ahead for all of us. And you know I'm always gonna have. I know your they back. are for you. I, I'm, I'm always gonna have your back. I'm always gonna oh, have yeah. over a cliff. Same dude, over, <gasps> over a cliff. A cliff. Oh, yeah. over a cliff. <laughs> and that's period point blank. I live by that. Hell yeah. Look at this guy. Yo, buddy. Here, you, here's a fun question. Did you ever think about how you would have liked um, Harrison? How how you would have liked his story to end on Scandal? Because I mean, the way it ended was you know it was tragic. It, it was tragic. Uh, and it I wasn't. thought that post and the guy I I watched like three or four episodes. You did? You before? know, after. The death. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I'm talking about season four. I can't believe you had to go yeah, through. Season, I, season I can't four was even tough. imagine. Even, and, and Cornelius, you did a wonderful job. Cornelius, yeah. you did a wonderful job. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, that's so nice you know, of you to say. That was, you were, you were, you were stellar um, coming in solid as a rock. Um, but it was, it was tough for me to see that I wasn't with my team. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine a, a football player? Imagine Travis Kelsey not being able to be on the field yeah. with Patrick Mahomes and, you know, the rest of his team playing them for the Super Bowl. That's what I felt like. I felt like an mm -hmm. injured player um on the field. And it was so I couldn't watch. But when I did watch, was you guys holding it up mm. and holding up the standard <laughs> and doing it the right way. And and I was like, they're good. You know what I mean? So like, wait, so did that. you say how you would have liked Harrison's story to end? Oh yeah, Harrison. I would oh, have yeah. liked. I would have liked Harrison to eventually have been with Katie. How we started. Oh that man, that would have been amazing. <gasps> Like right. in a like in a relationship. Yeah. Like well, remember a, oh, the man, end of the pilot. Like amazing. there was like supposed I mean, it to be it was, something. It was Adnan Salif came in the whole yes. thing. Yeah, 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 she did. But the, but you know, and I was mad by the way. Yeah. How you get a sex scene before me? What the hell? You was got that sex about? scene. Listen, I was how, shocked how, as you were. How Darby get a sex? <laughs> yeah. All y'all was I'm all y'all was I'm having with sex. Harrison, y'all was having sex. I wasn't having no sex. Yeah, but remember, I kind of remember this. I remember office. like That's crazy. season three when things were starting to go uh, awry. And they, and they waited. They, so I didn't have no abs. <laughs> my abs was still like season now it's one time. and two. Yeah, I was taking like, shirt off. They're like, it's take time. Take your shirt now. off now. John was like, now take your yeah. shirt off. My abs wasn't ready. <laughs> you still look good, man. She used to say, though, I remember like you were upset, right? Like 
And we, you were upset that they weren't giving you a ton of storyline. No storyline. And I'm sending her emails like, but that's because season three, four, wasn't she saying, am I making this up? I don't know. I, my memory. I you know, was things. faulty as a human. Yeah. She was saying, mm. prove that you can do it. Yes. And I'll give it to you. Yes. That was it. That oh, was wow. it. Right. That was I it. remember oh, wow. that, that you truth. were pissed that's the truth. that you would go to table reads and it wouldn't be like a real Harrison juicy storyline. Well, you were just and she late would say, three times. You're not ready week. to do it. You were late yeah. three times last week. Mm. How am I going to give you a storyline? Mm. Yeah. You were late last month. Da, 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 da. Darby's complaining. This person's complaining. Right. This is, you know, you're not sure. Showing, you're not Never showing seen. up yeah. and doing yeah, yeah, how can we entrust you enough. with more and you're not doing the job right, right. and and uh, even though the the ratings mm-hmm. were right yeah the numbers were right for the for ratings Harris, were Harrison but the right. life but the, they were Harrison right Harrison right right but the, the life was Harrison wrong 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 yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so you know since then as a producer you know, yeah. as I'm producing projects just like you do yeah. just like you guys yeah. do yeah like I never realized the responsibility of like, mm. you know, the time is money. This is this. Yeah. this, is yeah. this. Like, yeah. I'm like, dude, when people showing up late to my set or anything. Yeah, it's that costing us fucking like, so much money. We doing? can't be doing this. And I'm like, I have to stall myself out with certain actors, young yeah. actors. And I'm like being hard on them. But I was doing the same stupid mm. shit. Right. Mm. And so I'm like, man, now yeah. I am I look back. If I could have did it again, oh, man, I would have did it different. But. Everything that I went through, everything that I did, all the mistakes has led me to the man that I am today. And I'm, yeah. and I'm proud of the, the man I am today. No regrets, man. No For regrets. Real. For real. Please. What are your dream no. acting roles right now? Like, where do you, where would you love to I, go? I, I don't have dream acting roles. I played Martin Luther King recently. Um, that was one of the dreams. Oh, that's um, amazing. Um, my dream is to be able to put out other actors and tell good stories, not black stories, not like you believe it or not. When I'm the director and the studio, when I'm Lou Wasserman, the movie I want to make, I want to make The Diary and Frank. Wow. You know, oh, those, those are the movies so I want to make. I, I gotta love get an that audition story. for that. Uh, <laughs> Not in Frank, I beached out. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, uh, you play your mother? Um, yeah, you like know, her there, aunt. There's, there's, there's a lot of people. There's a story of there's a story of Japanese soldiers in World War II that nobody talks about. The Nisei soldiers. Mm. Those are stories I want to tell. It's not about you want to direct or I, produce or what? Direct, produce, and act. But really, if I know that if I can, I have the infrastructure to put actors in positions to make successful stories and tell truthful stories. Then I'm Hell doing yeah. the right job. Period. Point blank. And my yeah. album. I got an album. I'm not doing an album to win Grammys necessarily or to sell go platinum. I'm 41 years old. I just want to make for. I have to finish the the assignment. And you know my album's done. It's coming out. Soon. You're singing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my album's. Can done. you tell us what it's called and where we can it's find it? It's called Headlines. And when does it come no out? No way. Oh that's my perfect. god, that's it's fucking great. When does it drop? Uh, we're gonna drop it in the spring. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. coming out. It's coming in hot. Okay. In closing. Yes. Is there anything? that you feel like you have not said or want no. to say or anything. I don't only, feel like that, but only, I just want you the, to leave feeling like you. The only thing I want to yeah. leave saying is I am sorry and over a cliff. Hell yeah. That's it. Always, man. Thank you for doing this. Yep. Appreciate Thank you guys. You for doing it, oh my God. We're love so you. happy to we have you. you. We love you. Love you guys.